What's going on, you YouTubers? This is DK Artist coming at you live and direct from the studio. Just want to give a big shout out to moms. Just got off the phone with her. She's doing well. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the things that I use in my artist toolbox to do what I do in creating realistic drawings. So the first thing uh, we're going to talk about is paper, right? So I use, for the most part, um, Strathmore Illustration Board. That's one of my favorites. I've been using it for, oh man, more than a decade. So it's definitely been a staple. This is what this drawing is on, uh, Strathmore. All that had a seal here. Another thing that I use is uh, hot press watercolor paper. So I try to use a pretty decent brand if I do use the watercolor paper. I like the hot press because it's very smooth. Uh, the third thing I use, Bristol board sometimes, a smooth, Hot press Bristol board is one of my favorites. But the illustration board is my all time favorite. Been working on illustration board for, wow, probably about 10, 15 years. So I, I just love it. It's a great surface. It's, Multifunctional, you can use pencil, pen, ink, charcoal, watercolor. I believe you could you could almost oil paint on it. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, next thing I'll talk about is my pencils. All right, so the brand that I use is uh, General or Kimberly. So from 2B all the way up to a 9. I also have some Durbrands here that I use. So the next thing on the list is the erasers. One of my favorite erasers is the kneaded eraser. This is the kneaded eraser, right? So you can knead it, make it into different shapes. You can make it into a little point there so you can really get detailed into your erasing. Or if you need to use it to erase to make dots or things like this, uh, make creases, folds with your, within your drawing. Very versatile eraser. Uh, I don't like to use a regular eraser because they leave too much uh, mess on the paper and it's a little rough. The kneaded eraser is a lot smoother in its function to erase. If I have to use a harder eraser, i use a pink pearl. They also have this thing called a black pearl, which I discovered, which leaves no eraser marks Pretty similar to the <clears throat> kneaded eraser. There's your traditional pink pearl. So next on the list is a few of my um, special pencils that I use. This is a Kimberly 9XXB. And I also use this one, which is a number 5,000. I can't remember the brand name for this one, but you can look this up online, the Kimberly 9XXB. It gives you a really, really, really dark, rich black, one that's not shiny. So it has very little graphite in it. This is outstanding. If you need a rich, deep black, this is the pencil to get, the 9XXB. 
So next on the line is my uh, pen and ink, pen and inks. One of my favorites is something you can get from the local store. It's a precise V5. And I get these in packs of two or pack of five. You can get them in the store for like $5. And the nib on it is a point zero zero five. So a lot of my illustrative type work, in line work, I use this pen or something similar. Now, if you want to get fancy, you have the Copic Multiliners. These are really good pen. Really sharp, precise lines you can get with these. The nibs, um, they wear out a little quickly, especially on a harder surface like an illustration board, like this illustration board here. But they're very, very effective for line work, for very fine, small detail work. This Copic Multiliner pen is one that you definitely should take a look at. All those fails, hey. I go back to my old trusty big pen. The old school big pen still works fine, although it has a larger nib on the end. That'd be the only drawback is that it only comes in one size. Charcoal, charcoal powder, charcoal sticks like this one. <clears throat> so I have different grades, soft, medium, hard, charcoal, give you different grades <clears throat> of coverage. Also of light and dark with that charcoal, okay? So I keep it in a plastic bag here in a little baggie keeps it from spreading all over the place. Also for large coverage, I use charcoal powder, which I started using this recently, uh, probably the last few months. So this happens to be the Coates, C-O-A-T-E-S, Artist Willow, from the Willow Charcoal Powder, all right? But it's pretty expensive, uh, less than $10, $12 ship. I think it's under $20, and I have a um, 500 milliliter container here. The one thing that you want to do is make sure that you have this tightly sealed all the time that you're not using, because this powder will get all over the place. Man, you'll have a mess on your hands, a mess on your work. So those are some of the <clears throat> traditional and non-traditional things that I use in a lot of my graphite charcoal pencil uh, work, realism work that I use, that I do. <clears throat> Also, one of my favorite, my favorite tools, something that most people use normally in your ears, the cotton swab. The cotton swab is, to me, one of the most versatile tools that you can have in your toolbox, uh, working with pencil, graphite, charcoal i mean with it you can create it this is exactly what i use in order to create the light and darks here the shadow the difference in the tones smooth the edges right you want to feather those edges i call it feathering you feather the edges with this oh uh, it you can do so much with a 
regular cotton swab. This is my all-time favorite too, right here. Some additional tools that you can use. Obviously you need a straight edge. So I bought a couple of metal rulers on the back side has caulk so that it won't slip on your paper and slide. Wherever you place it down, it'll stay there. Great too. So I have a 18 inch one and also a 12 one footer. These are straight edges from the drafting kit that I bought a long time ago along with this brush used to keep your work clean, right? It's nice soft edges on it. It's actually a Stadler brand. So it won't scratch your paper or your work. And these straight edges are transparent. So I can see through what I'm working with. It's a fantastic tool. I love these. So the one that I bought came with two different sizes. And that's pretty much it for my basic tools. You know, I use these on a, uh, on a daily basis when I'm doing my work. And these are actually just for my <clears throat> graphite and charcoal work. I'll get into what I use for my <clears throat> multi-medium work on another video such as what I use in order to create this cardboard illusion right here. It's a whole set of twos different set of twos. But everything that I just described is what I use in order to create this cutout paper illusion here. Okay. So hey, that's all I have for today. I'll get back with you cats um, another time. So I hope y'all got something out of this. So stay tuned. If you like this video, go down, give me a like. Give me the old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. Y'all have a good one. Peace.